Greetings Marines, Fayot here, and today, as you probably guessed by what's shown in the thumbnail of this vid, we had some news. Actually, it was a couple of hours ago. What was announced is that Cold Iron will be bringing a new mission to the game. So instead of having four campaigns with three missions each, plus the Pathogen campaign bringing them up to 15, we'll end up having 16 missions. Now, it has something to do with the cistern on uh, Katanga or the cistern related to Katanga, maybe. It's a reservoir of water on the planet that has been infested where Katanga gets its water from because, as we know, Katanga pretty much was blown to bits the space station, or it could be a prequel story on how the infestation began. Of course, if it's a prequel story, the Endeavor would not be able to intervene, so maybe we'll be playing with default characters that were on the station itself and somehow escaped and we know nothing about throughout the actual campaign. I really wanna want, wouldn't want this to happen because it's completely out of context. And, well, it's our Marines, it's... It's Herrera, it's Ko, it's Park, all these characters that we came to love and, you know, quote, taking that all away to just introduce some sort of generic, I don't know, shooter character wouldn't really cut it for me. But uh, I wanted to take a moment to tell you what I think about this practice that they're pulling here and, uh, well, address the elephant in the room in the process. First... The elephant in the room. Uh, that's pretty much it, I think. Like, they are gonna release this alongside an announcement saying that that's it for Fire Team Elite and they're moving on to something else. Maybe a sequel, maybe something totally different. The thing is, that's something that I was wishing would happen because if you've been following my latest streams on Fire Team Elite, I was always saying that you don't leave your game to just die in the dark without letting your player base know what the hell you're doing or if you're leaving it behind. And I really wanted a final patch uh, with some notes for the fans or a tiny bit of content that would also come with a note saying, guys, we're done. This is it. We have done all that's possible with our budget, we've done all that's possible with our funds, and uh, then we have to move on to something else that can make an actual profit. Okay, so I think that after this, we're pretty much uh, done with Fireteam Elite. We're not going to get a new roadmap, we're not going to get a new year, we're not going to get anything as grandiose because they cannot make a return on investment. That is something to be understood. Now, the second issue I want to talk about, the game at this point hasn't been patched for more than a month and a half. No hotfixes, no patches, nothing. Even if they bring out new content, that content will be prone to the same bugs and glitches that we are getting in the already existing content, in the initial campaign and the Pathogen DLC campaign. So my hope about all this is that they bring out a bit of content and the huge ass parts that they've been working on for the past weeks and uh, alongside that there will be a statement saying we took our time to present a fix that actually addresses a lot of stuff instead of bringing out all those little patches and along with it, you're getting a new mission to play as a farewell to the game. That, for me, would bring the standing of the company 80% back. It would mean that they took the time, allocated the resources, and made the best possible out of the situation and the hand that they were dealt. I can't know what they're gonna do in the end. I cannot know what path they will take. I cannot know how much effort will be put into this thing. I have no way of knowing, but um, the fact that we got any news at all, I know is huge for a lot of people out there, including myself as well. I just, 
wish they wouldn't let our hype for the game and our willingness to play it and invest time in it like it it got drained man it got drained by playing the game in its worst state that it's ever been after so much time like the glitches when it comes to some of the mechanics the consumables the bugs the the, the non-consistency of certain things it's not a very good look at the moment and i wouldn't want a game to go out in such a fashion in being sat in such a state now if what they bring is good and uh, they also fix what's already here and it's problematic i'll have zero beef with cold iron except for all the marketing and not communicating bullshit that they were never good at anyway it wasn't something that changed and diminished my opinion of them they were always bad at doing that they couldn't take the heat from the whiners that can get really really annoying and toxic so they cut ties with communicating with pretty much everyone out there but i was singing their praises and kept doing that for as long as i could perceive work being done on the game i changed my tune when i ended up playing a game that sold us dlc that was never patched and never optimized that's when i thought there was a malpractice in place what am i gonna do if they bring out said content well you know if that kind of content comes out, we're going to play it on stream, day one, we're going to try to clear it on extreme, we're going to try to clear it on insane. And if they have any new guns, I'm going to mod the guns, make guides, I'm going to make a guide about how to clear the new stage. Everything I've done for every piece of content in the game, I'm going to do for the upcoming release as well. The fact that I got tired of endless repetition doesn't mean that I don't love the game or not going to cover it when the time comes comes i'm the same guy you've known from the start and it's just the tiredness sitting in you know it's it's the tiredness of repetition it's not a lack of interest this game kind of made the community of this channel what it is today and i am eternally grateful for that what i am not grateful for is the negligence i don't like negligence in any part of my life and i surely don't like seeing it when it comes to products that the consumers have to pay for with money that they might be earning by working double shifts in a dock somewhere okay that's just an example of course so sub like share hit the notification bell to be notified about uploads and streams stay tuned about any news regarding this and if you really want to help me out Please consider Patreon or get a membership on the channel. It really helps a lot and streamers have to eat as well. Until next time, be well, stay frosted, always try for perfection, guys. Cheers.